Welcome to this Career Ready webinar on finding part-time work. Part-time work offers students far more than simply the financial benefits. This webinar will cover uh, how to find part-time work, some of the strategies you can use, uh, the things to do to prepare and identify the skills that you may be developing along the way. But first, a little bit about the career services at La Trobe University, the sorts of things that we can assist you in uh, understanding the career options with regards to your course and your study. Uh, we can also uh, advise you on preparing your job application documents, so cover letters, resumes, key selection criteria, and also assistance with preparing for interviews. And we do suggest that students engage with something called the Big Interview, where you can practice your online interview skills. Career Hub is a really great, I guess, uh, entry point to a lot of aspects of the career service um, for example careers events and workshops uh, you can book appointments as well uh, a couple of different types of appointments um, in Bandura and again please check with your local careers team as to the service offerings and the times because it may differ from campus to campus uh, in Bandura, we uh, have a drop-in service where you can uh, access information quickly. You can also book in for a 15-minute resume consultation and a 30-minute uh, consultation for careers. So again, please check with your local campus. Um, Career Hub also has an online job uh, board or component to it, so where positions are listed if an employer wants to reach out to students. Uh, I encourage you to look at things like um, Employer Connect uh, and also register for uni temps if you're looking for part-time work. That's another, uh, another option which we'll discuss a little bit down the track. I will touch on Career Ready Advantage, which is our employability program. We, again, really do encourage you to build your employability skills to a range of different activities. Okay, so some of the benefits of working part-time. Um, other than making money and paying your bills, part-time work can be beneficial for a number of reasons. Um, for international students, part-time work is a great chance to secure local experience. So uh, building your English or practicing your English and developing a sound understanding of Australian work culture, uh, which is sometimes very different to other countries. If you manage to find part-time work in a related industry to what you're studying, it can give you a greater understanding of what it's like working in that industry. Um, it can also allow you to develop networks and make some valuable contacts uh, in your field, which you may use after graduation. But given that most part-time work is, is not within the professional industry you're studying, um, it also provides valuable content for your resume, particularly around the development of soft skills. So it doesn't have to be um, in your desired industry sector to be valuable to you. A part-time job will allow you to use um, examples to, or develop ex examples of experiences that you can showcase in your graduate interviews. For example, we suggest that you are going to be building soft skills such as your communication, your teamwork, problem solving, initiative, planning and organising and leadership. Um, so please um, don't dismiss um, part-time work. It is certainly really great information or great experience to be able to put on your resume and valuable uh, to you when you embark on your chosen career. A few things in getting the essentials together before you undertake part-time work. Uh, you'll need to prepare a resume. Um, we do run a number of workshops, uh, both face-to-face -face and also webinars online. So please uh, attend one of those to get the basics. Uh, and then you know, if you want to follow that up with some assistance with your local careers team, we encourage you to do so. As part-time work will be different to um, your professional work, your resume will be a different document. So it will include things such as your availability. Um, and a few other differences as well may exist between resumes uh, in, if you're an international student, between resumes you might prepare in your home country to the ones in Australia. So we can help you to identify those differences and write um, in a local context. Um, so you might focus as well more on your um, education in your professional resume, but less so in your part-time one, which is normally a shorter and less complex document. Um, you will need a bank account. Um, most employers will pay students uh, into a bank account. A tax file number, which can be applied for online, which is your actually your personal reference number in the Australian taxation system. It's not mandatory, but what it means that you will pay is that you will pay a lot more tax if you don't have one. If you are a local student, please um, ensure that if you do find part-time work, notify Centrelink of any changes to your circumstances. 
There are different types of employment. Um, most university students will need to find a job to help support um, you know, you, your way through university. So I guess it's, it's handy to know what category of employment you're applying for and the terms and conditions that are associated um, with different um, natures of employment. So casual employment is typically where a lot of students will be employed or on that basis. Um, these jobs are usually where you are working, um, say shift work required by the organisation and paid at an hourly rate. Um, you don't receive paid holidays or sick leave. Your hours of shifts might vary. So for example, you might work a couple of shifts one week on certain days, and that may change the following week. So it's probably a little, um, I guess, less predictable in, in by nature. But I guess the flip side of that is that it can offer you more flexibility. Um, so allowing you a greater choice and variety of shifts and hours. Um, although there is um, by nature less security as your employer can terminate your employment at any time. Part-time um, more um, continued employment generally has more regular hours of work, paid holiday and sick leave as well. Um, your rate will be a little less than casual work, but it is incorporating paid holiday and sick leave. Um, with fixed term and contract work, typically that will start and finish at a particular date. Uh, for example, if you register with the uni temps, a lot of uni temps uh, work will be fixed term work. Um, but it's an excellent experience um, to undertake. Um, but again, it's a, a slightly different um, tenure to the casual and part-time. Um, with casual too, by the way, if you do ring, uh, ring up sick, you won't be paid for that work because as I said, you're not paid for your sick, um, your sick time or holidays. Typical student work will vary, but uh, we've put up some of the main categories of work. Um, ideally, um, you know, you might find work in some, some of these areas. Um, a lot of professional work does tend to be full-time in nature, which can be, um, is, it can be quite difficult to, for students to subsequently secure. So please don't get too hung up in working in a professional areas, as all industries, as I mentioned, will allow you to develop those transferable soft skills. So some of the typical uh, part-time work will be retail, hospitality, customer service, um, clerical perhaps, personal care, labouring and call centres. Um, so again, hospitality might include kitchen hands, waiters, bar staff and fast food staff. Okay, so in looking for, uh, for vacancies, our careers page is, is usually a good starting point. Um, so if you go to the careers and opportunities page on the La Trobe University website, um, click on help finding work. Um, and that will actually help you how to access uni temps and how to access um, some of the jobs on Career Hub as well. We do encourage you to regularly check on Career Hub. Um, you'll need your student username and password to register. Um, it might be that there's nothing available one week and then suddenly something becomes available in a week or two. So touch base on a regular basis. The sort of opportunities that are generally posted up there might be part-time work, occasionally professional work, uh, volunteer roles, uh, internships and so on. So please have a look and see if there is anything that appeals to you. Um, as mentioned, the Careers Hub also includes careers events, whether they're workshops uh, that are running Career Ready at Bandura uh, or other, other campus um, events, perhaps campus events where employers might attend. So uh, again, touch base with Career Hub on a regular basis. And you can also book appointments um, for careers advice as well. A little bit about uni temps. As mentioned, they're our on-campus recruitment agency. Um, staff include Catherine Belinda and, and they do uh, have student interns each semester. Jobs are available both on and off campus. Um, typically, predominantly, they are more likely to be on campus um, at Bandura. You would register online via unitemps.com, sign up for their email job alerts, it's always a good idea, and also their weekly new newsletter which uh, lists the current opportunities. Um, apply for roles when vacancies arrive, so, uh, arise, so don't wait for a phone call. Um, get in quickly, express your interest. Often um, there is a quick turnaround in terms of um, them trying to fill positions, so do move um, very quickly. They're often quite competitive. Um, so wait for them to shortlist and send applications, and then they will invite generally in, uh, successful candidates for interviews, um, do some reference checks on behalf of the client, um, and make the offers of employment. I would suggest when you are uploading your information, so you will need to include some skills 
that you put a reasonable number of skills up there to broaden the, I guess, uh, instances where you may appear in, in any search that they conduct as well. So think of that. You also, um, I would suggest that you uh, upload a resume. It's not compulsory, but again, it assists them in, in identifying your match against a particular position. Um, some of the common websites up here, Spot Jobs, Gumtree, Indeed, Seek, Edzuna and Career One. Seek is probably the biggest one in Australia. Um, they have a very broad base of opportunities up there, including professional ones. I'd suggest have a look at the, the different uh, jobs that appear to be up there and identify the best websites according to what you're actually looking for. Um, in addition to this, I'd suggest also going directly onto some company sites. Uh, larger organisations often do their own recruitment from their website. So for example, they might um, be constantly looking for staff um, and have on their jobs page how to apply for part-time jobs. This is particularly common for say some of the fast food chains, so McDonald's or KFC, um, in addition to retailers like um, Target, Kmart and also some of the larger supermarket chains like um, Woolworths and Coles. So in finding work, a few other strategies. Directly approach employers. That can often be particularly good if you want to target your local area, perhaps. Uh, you have your resume put together. Maybe do a, a drop-in to some local businesses. Pick um, some times where it, they're not likely to be too busy. They might have the time to actually talk to you. So that is quite important uh, and be well presented and so on. So have your resume with you. Uh, and again, target some local businesses. The hidden job market where jobs are not always advertised is a particularly valuable way to find part-time work. So not all positions will actually be advertised. Sometimes it's up to 60% of, or 60 to 80% of jobs in Australia that are actually secured through this hidden job market. If there's particular organisations that you might be interested in working, uh, working for, just don't waste for them, wait for them to post job op opportunities. Reach out to them by either visiting an office in person, um, making a cold call or sending a letter of interest. Um, so but just again, bear in mind, um, you know, putting a letter together effectively to showcase your skills and your careers, um, the career service at your campus can assist you with that. Um, user networks, um, so talk to other students, talk to your friends, talk to family members, um, find out if they know of any opportunities anywhere or if they're working anywhere and they are aware of perhaps their employer hiring. So have those conversations. Um, you never know where that might lead as well. Um, another thing in terms of finding part-time work is volunteering. And I know that that's not paid employment, um, but it may be a foot in the door. Um, so things like um, volunteering for organisations, accessing volunteer.com.eu. Um, it may be that you're volunteering somewhere and then a position becomes available on a part-time basis um, and you're already working there, have some knowledge of the way the organisation operates and you might approach them. There's no guarantees, um, but it might be um, a great foot in the door. So think about those sorts of things as well. Um, also consider in building your networks if you're newly arrived in Australia. So classmates, new friends, student associations, volunteering, um, you never know where those opportunities might lead. And they're also developing, I guess, some great um, skills along the way. Um, if you don't have some local uh, paid employment experience, if you're an international student, um, participating in activities on campus is a great way to show that you are engaging um, on a local basis or perhaps contributing in some way. Just a few things about the Australian working conditions. Um, we don't, um, in our career service, generally give advice on work conditions, um, but I have put a couple of websites up here for you to um, Keep in mind if you ever do need to seek advice, um, perhaps you're not sure if you're being paid correctly or uh, you're, you have a concern about something an employer is asking you to do or conditions of work. Job Watch is probably your first point of call. Um, they do have an information line um, and they would be able to answer questions that you will have. In Australia, every worker is protected by a set of minimum rights and conditions. So watch out for things like misleading job ads or unpaid work trials, um, cash in hand work um, and unpaid overtime. So that is where an employer will ask you to work through lunch hours, work late without being paid. And another um, particularly um, 
I guess, situation to be mindful of is the, the unpaid work trials where an employer might say, look, I need to test you out for a week to try you out to see if you're any good um, and you work for free. It is, it is reasonable for them to see how you work on the job for free for maybe a couple of hours, but anything that's, you know, a few days is really nothing more than free labour. And, and some employers, unfortunately, have been known to say at the end of that period of time, look, you weren't fast enough, I don't have a job to offer you. And they have then um, secured your labour for a few days free of charge. Um, so just be wary of those situations. Be aware of where they are wanting to pay you cash in hand. That usually means that they are not meeting their obligations um, by the Australian government by declaring you um, or declaring that you are paying, they are paying a worker. So again, some little things just to be aware of. Um, misleading job ads sometimes happens when, um, you know, the, the work that they advertise is actually not the work that you end up doing. So again, just be mindful of some situations. And as, as mentioned, if you have any doubt over the circumstances or aspects to your, your employment, um, seek some professional advice from those websites down there. Okay, so Career Ready Advantage Award. So this is a really great program that we encourage all students to engage with during their study. Um, some research was conducted a few years ago with organisations to try and find out what it is they are looking for in graduates. Um, as a result of that information, um, a program is developed to build your employability skills. So building your, your knowledges uh, and your experiences across a range of different areas. These three uh, areas we have tied down to professional learning, uh, practical experience and career portfolio. So the, the idea with this program is that you undertake activities across these three learning areas. Um, so you might undertake some um, courses under LinkedIn Learning or some other courses outside of uni to build your skills. Um, you will do some um, practical experiences, so even part-time work during your, your uh, university study would count towards an activity under the practical experience component. It might be you do some volunteering or participate in other uh, some other um, aspects or can, uh, complete an employability focused subject in your course. And the career portfolio area is really um, focusing on how you communicate your skills and experiences to employers and assisting you in knowing how to do that across a range of areas such as preparing your resume, handling job interviews, planning your career, putting a LinkedIn together and so on. There are other activities um, that form these three core areas. They are listed on the LMS. Uh, we do encourage you to have a look at that and participate in the program. The idea is once you've completed an activity, you will then upload it and we assess that um, against the uh, aspect of the award. So a really great tool to, I guess, set you apart from other graduates. Um, and it's, it's really building those employability skills across a range of areas. The first stage would be the silver award. You do some additional activities to qualify for gold um, and then finally for platinum. Just as one point, this workshop would count as one activity which would be automatically added to your award by recording your attendance. Uh, so bear that in mind. Attending uh, workshops um, will um, be counted as professional learning activities. Thank you for listening to this webinar. We hope that it has been a valuable tool in understanding some of the strategies in uh, finding part-time work. If you are requiring further assistance, please contact your local uh, careers team uh, to uh, gain further help. Thank you very much.